Hello, everyone. I am so glad you're here today. We are ready for a great horseback riding lesson. My name is Andrea Boone, and I will be your instructor. This is my assistant, Lis Larissa Strapello. And we are here, and we are going to talk to you today and teach you how to do your first trot. Anyone excited? Yes. Yeah, so up until this point, right, we've been working on how to start, stop, and steer. So at the walk, we figured out how to get on our horses. We know how to move our horses forward. We know how to halt our horses. We know how to get our horses to move around our leg and turn to the right and to the left. And we feel pretty confident about that, right? All right. Okay, so I am ready, and I think that you all are ready, to actually take on the next step, which is learning how to trot our horses. So what I'm going to have Larissa do is she's actually going to go down through, and she's going to start a safety check on your horses. And while she does that, I'm going to explain the difference between a walk and a trot, because they're two very different gates when we work on our, with our horses. So a walk is actually a four-beat gait. When a horse walks, every Hoof, every foot has a moment of suspension of their own time in the air. So the horse goes four beats, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that makes sense to everybody? All right, very rhythmical. It's very comfortable when we're riding it. In fact, they use it for therapy for individuals so that the horse's walking movement is very similar to what our bodies do, and it can actually really rehab and help individuals. Uh, learn how to walk again after they've had some type of injury, okay? The trot is very different. The trot is actually a two-beat diagonal gait, which means that the diagonal parts of the horse work in conjunction with one another, okay? So two sets of legs are working together, and then the other set of legs is working together. So what happens when a horse trots is that my right hind and my left fore go in one beat, and then my left hind and my right fore go in one beat. So the horse is going one, two, one, two. Okay, does that make sense? All right. Interestingly enough for our bodies, however, we don't move in diagonal pairs. All right. So what do you think that one, two, one, two beat translates into our bodies when we're sitting on the saddle? Uh, down and up beat. A down and up beat. And it's probably pretty bouncy right? Because we don't move diagonally. So when we're doing that one, two, one, two, it's going to be a little bit bouncy when we're up there versus this very rhythmical walk that you guys are used, excuse me, used to. So to get you to be used to that and to make sure that you don't have to worry about the steering part, we're going to actually teach you and I and Larissa are going to be helping holding on to your horses. So today for your first trot is about you understanding that rhythm and what it feels like in our bodies to be able to grasp that concept of that one, two, one, to bouncing rhythm, okay? So what we're gonna do is we actually have, for those of you who are in Western tack, you are going to be using your horn to hold on to. For those of you who are in English tack, we have what are called grab straps. And what we're going to do is on the front of your saddles, the side of your saddles here, we have D-rings, and we are actually gonna clip your grab strap onto one D-ring. Larissa is gonna clip it onto the other side. I have fast forwarded at this point, we already have art set up over here. Oh, I probably should let you all introduce yourselves, by the way. Let's find out who all's in our class. So let's go down our line. I'm Teresa. Hi, Teresa. And what's your horse's name? Art. Art. I'm Courtney. Courtney. Horse is Mel. And Mo. I'm Karen, and this is Ruby. Okay, Karen and Ruby. I'm Sarah, and this is Biscuit. And Sarah and Biscuit. Okay, so now we have Biscuit is, has a grab strap on. Um, with Sarah, we have Ruby, who has a Western saddle. We have Mo in a Western saddle, and we already have a grab strap on the saddle for Art. The other piece of equipment that we're going to use today is actually a bridle adapter. Okay, so with our bridle adapter, when we're ready to trot, we're actually going to hook the metal pieces of this bridle adapter onto your bit. Okay, and then we're going to hook a lead line onto that so that we will actually be in control of, your, of, of helping you control your horses when you're moving so you don't have to worry about the steering component. Okay, you will still have your reins, um, but that way we will be helping you. Okay, so I'm going to hand this off to my list, uh, assistant Larissa. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of you and get you mounted. So we're going to have you walk over to, we're using our mounting ramp over here. Um, it's one of the nice things that we have in our arena. And you can use it like a mounting block, except that you walk the entire way up the mounting ramp. And once you get up to the top, you're actually going to mount. Larissa is going to be there helping you do this. And before I send you over to her, I am going to do a safety check on your horses as well. Larissa's already checked for me, but just confirming that we have a tight girth here that's appropriate for our two fingers to get set in. We're checking our, going to put our stirrup leathers down when we get over to 
the mounting black and we're taking and checking our nose band and our throat latch here and making sure that there's no um, pieces of equipment that uh, are not working appropriately. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and take Biscuit on over. I will look at Ruby here while we do that. Looks good. Check our girth. I know, baby girl. I know. Here we go. Good job. Are you excited to trot today, Karen? Yes, I am. Okay. That is great. How are you today, Courtney? I'm good. Good, Mo. Let's take another peek here at your cinch. Make sure everything looks good for you. Art's looking good over here. Check Art, both sides. Make sure we're good. Once you get up to the mounting uh, ramp, make sure you take your stirrup leathers down as well, okay? Good, now when you guys are in line getting mounted, make sure that we ha are leaving a nice elephant distance here between you and the horse in front of you. So you can go ahead and take Ruby right on up. Great, and Larissa, I'm gonna have you help them mount. I'm gonna head over here. Good, Sarah, how are you feeling today? Good, you ready to do a little trotting? Awesome. So I just want you to sit and relax there. If Biscuit needs to walk, I'm actually okay with you walking her for a little bit because it looks to me like she, you know how to start, stop, and steer, and she doesn't want to stand still for us, so we'll let her walk here for a few minutes. We'll just have you stay down here at this half of the arena. Good. All right, keep your hands up off of her neck for me. Sit up straight and tall and nice and relaxed there, Karen. Yes, I like that. Very, very good. Great, and we're going to go ahead, and once you get to the E, letter E here, we'll go ahead and come across the arena while we, so we stay away from our mounters over there. Good job. I like how your hands are up off of her neck. Make sure we're sinking our weight down through our heels. Lovely, very good. Inside leg, a little inside leg and inside rein, catching her neck with your outside rein there as you're making your corner. Lovely. Good, Courtney, you're just gonna keep your eyes up and you're gonna go ahead and just head on down around the outside of the arena there. Good, I like that nice relaxed leg and your hands are up nicely. Good job. Your heel looks good. Let's rotate our thumbs up for me, Karen. There we go, we had a little stiff in our arms there. Nicely done. Go ahead and come straight across the arena for me here. Get your, yep, let's go ahead and get your wrists up for me. I'm just waiting for my last horse. Great, looks like we have all of our horses mounted. So why don't we go ahead and have Ruby stop right here at the letter F. We're gonna go ahead and have Art go in behind Ruby. We're gonna put Biscuit in behind Art and we're gonna put Mo in behind uh, Biscuit. You can go ahead and come across the arena. Now at this point, ladies, we would normally practice our walking. We would start and stop a few times. Okay, make sure we work on our steering, but we're gonna fast forward through that. So we're gonna get directly to our first trot. Okay, so the one part about this is what I'm gonna have Larissa do, she's gonna put her bit adapter on here. And what I want you to do, Karen, is you can go ahead and put your reins in one hand and go ahead and hold on to the horn. With You can put the other hand on the horn as well, whatever's comfortable for you, as long as you're relaxed there, okay? And what we're gonna do is, it's gonna be, like I said, a little bit bouncy. So what I want you to do is just to relax, keep your chest nice and open. I like to say, if you have something written on your chest, pretend you're advertising it. All right, so that way all of us can actually read what's on your chest. You're gonna stay nice and open and just sit and breathe and relax and feel what that feels like. We're gonna walk around the short side of the arena here, Larissa, and then we're just gonna take a couple trot straps once you get to the letter K, okay? Down the long side about to the letter S. <clears throat> Good, Karen, eyes up. Go ahead and focus on the mirror at that end of the arena. Karen, here we go, breathe in. Go ahead and have your, give your horse a little squeeze with your legs. Just sit and relax, very nicely done. Now breathe out, exhale, sink your weight down through your heels and ask your horse to whoa. Nicely done, what do you think of that, Karen? Awesome, all right, Larissa, can I have you unclip here and we're gonna come back to this front side of our group here and Art is going to be next. My poor assistant has to hustle in between horses for this part of our, <laughs> our lesson. Nicely done. Okay, so Teresa, what you're gonna do, yep, is you can just loosen up your reins a little bit here, but you're gonna take both hands and hold on to your grab strap. Both hands, 
Yeah, there you go. Okay, so the reins are loose, so we're not pulling on their mouth. Because the one thing that happens a little bit, and the reason I like to do it this way, is when we bounce, sometimes we let our hands follow. And then it jerks on the horse's mouth. So until we get used to that, we want our hands to stay nice and soft and, and relaxed. And then we're going to learn in the future, we're actually going to learn how to do it without our hands. And then we're going to get our reins back on our own. Okay, are we ready? Eyes up. Breathe in, give your horse a little squeeze with the inside of your shin bones. Just sit and relax. I love that. Nicely done. Now eyes up, breathe out, sink your weight down through your heels and close your legs around the horse's barrels. You say, whoa, well done. Very nice first trot. What did you think of that, Teresa? Oh, I love the smile. The first trot brings out this little smile from everybody. I love it. All right, Biscuit says, you know, I think it's time, she said. She wants to do her little first trot here, doesn't she? All right, so go ahead and relax your reins. Yep, and you can put, tighten up a tiny little bit so she doesn't trip on her reins there. Okay, we're gonna get her hooked up here. Okay, same thing, Sarah. I just want you to relax. You walk around your, your half turn here, and then once you come out of the letter K, point your eyes up, focus on that mirror at the other end. Great, and little Miss Mo needs to whoa. Good girl, Mo. Nicely done, Courtney. I like how you sat up on that one. Make sure you keep your eyes up. Are you ready, Sarah? Yeah. Okay. So you kind of let her K eyes up. Breathe in. Squeeze. Give her a little squeeze with your calf muscles there. Nicely done. Okay. All the way. I like that. Good. Now, eyes up. Breathe out. Sink your weight down through your heels. Close your shin bones around the horse and ask for your whoa. Good job. What did you think of that, Sarah? Oh, good. A little bit bouncy. Yeah, a little bit bouncy, but very nice. I like it. I like the smile. All of you guys are smiling. That's what happens when we trot. All right, and here comes Larissa down for our last horse. Thank you for all your hustle today, Larissa. All right, Courtney, go ahead. Good, you got one hand on the horn there. I like that. Just relax the reins a little bit because I don't want you jerking and pulling on her mouth. Yeah, there we go. Good. Good job, halting Ruby. Okay, eyes up. Go ahead and look at the mirror down at the other side of that arena for me. Keep your legs around her body. Yes, Courtney, keep breathing for me there. Nicely done. Good. Eyes up, breathe out. Sink your weight down through your heels. Close your legs around the horse's barrel and say, whoa. There we go. Mo just thought that was a lot of fun. Good job, Courtney. Way not to give up. I like how you just stay nice and steady and continue to breathe out. And I saw a nice little pullback on those reins. Good job. Okay, all right guys, you can go ahead and halt Mo right in the line there. What'd you guys think? Was it fun? Okay, well we can do it again, but we're not today. If we were in the real lesson, what we would do is we'd actually have you guys change direction and we'd go and we'd come back the other way, okay? But for the sake of today, we're actually gonna come on in and we are going to have you guys dismount. So I want you guys to walk your horses around the arena. Good job. Remember to look with your eyeballs and your belly buttons as you're coming around your turn. Karen, when you get down here to the letter S, you're gonna turn and bring your horse into me, into the middle of the arena, and then you're gonna halt. Teresa, you're gonna leave one elephant between you and her, and then you're gonna go ahead and come into the arena. Same thing with you, Sarah. You're gonna come in and then coordinate her between the letter K and letter V there. You're gonna go ahead and turn Mo and come on in, okay? Good, Karen, go ahead right to Larissa. Teresa, you can go ahead and look at me with your belly button and your eyeballs, good. When you get in, make sure you guys, yes, Sarah, I like that, good, Courtney. Now everyone ask for the halt, eyes up, breathe out, sink your weight down through your heels, good. Now relax your reins a little bit and give your horse a pat and tell them they did a great job today. All right, I love it. Um, what we're gonna do is we are going to dismount and then I wanna hear about one thing that you guys learn from your lesson today, okay? So let's go ahead, Larissa's gonna go ahead and help over there with Karen. Remember, when we dismount, folks, we are going to kick both feet out of our stirrups, okay? So before we take our leg over, all right? If we get to this point right here and we had the weight, all the weight in our left leg, we could cause some problems and have a difficult time getting out of our, our, our horse's way. Also, make sure, especially those of you in Western tack, when you get your leg over, I want you to make sure that you're turning and you're sliding down on your hip so we're not getting articles of clothing stuck on that big horn there, okay? You ready, Larissa? You can go ahead and help Karen. I'm gonna come over here and help you, Teresa. So go ahead and take your reins, put them in one hand. Good. Yep, lean forward, swing your, good, and make sure you're facing forward when you land there, okay? A little bit more that way, so we're sliding down on our hip. 
All right, reins in one hand, kick both feet out of your stirrups, right leg up and over, relax and face forward when you land. That was lovely. Need to get you on video doing a dismount like that. Okay, are you ready? Go ahead, kick both feet out, forward, and make, that is awesome. I love how you're right on that hip. No clothing could have gotten caught in that horn. Well done, okay? You can go ahead and take the reins over your horse. Oh, those of you in English tack, make sure you run up your stirrup leathers for me. Great, Karen, one thing positive about today. You did! <laughs> and you weren't scared or were you a little scared? It was good? It was good. Awesome. Teresa, what about you? I need to breathe. It was a little, when we calm down, we first start sometimes, we hold our breath because we're thinking so hard, right? Mm -hmm. But the more you can breathe, the more relaxed you'll be, and actually the less bouncy the trot becomes. So great. Uh, I could relax my arm a little bit. I was a little tense because I was anticipating her to take off on me like she did last time. And she didn't, did she? She didn't. And once I relax, she really stopped too, so it was awesome. The best part about our horses is when we're relaxed, so are they. And so then she could just relax and you both could enjoy the trot. And I think you may win the, the prize for the biggest smile on this one. Good job. I also need to remember to breathe. Got a little stiff coming down there, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. As soon as I did start breathing, she, she relaxed and then we were able to stop. And it was great. And you first started, when you came around your corner, you had your eyes down, you're looking, but then you got your eyes up and you relaxed and it was a beautiful first trot. I'm really proud of all of you and I think it was a great lesson today. Thank you so much.